Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. Today, we're on lesson 20, and we're going to talk about another statistical hypothesis test. We've talked about t-tests before, so you can definitely go back through the statistics and SAS playlist and look at t-tests. But today, we're going to talk about the one-way ANOVA in SAS. So some objectives for today, we're going to define what a one-way ANOVA is. We're going to mention some ANOVA assumptions that you must check. And we're gonna look at an example in SAS code and also look at the syntax. And then we're gonna talk about this concept called the Tukey test. So what actually is a one-way ANOVA? So it's a statistical test, AKA a hypothesis test, and it stands for analysis of variance. That's what ANOVA stands for. And this, the analysis of the variance of three or more group means based on one other factor. So what do I mean by this? Maybe I have in my examples below, the final exam score, which is the one other factor denoted in purple, and different student classifications. So freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior. So those are four groups. Or maybe I'm interested in looking at the blood pressure among three age groups in my data of young, middle age, and older age, okay? So when you have three or more groups within one variable, and you want to see if the group means differ based off of another numeric input, such as final exam score, height, blood pressure, BMI, you are going to utilize what we consider a one-way ANOVA. Now, if you have just two groups, say for instance, male versus female, that is going to be established by T-test, okay? So like I said, you can look at the T-test video in this playlist on YouTube, but here we really stress ANOVA for when we have three or more groups. So the null hypothesis here is that they're going to that there isn't a difference between the group means. And the alternative hypothesis is there is a difference between at least two of the group means. So in this example that I have listed down here, where I asked the question, is the final exam score different among the student classifications, freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior? So if there is a difference in at least two of these groups, say for instance, there's a dif difference in the mean exam score for freshman versus junior, say for instance, there's a difference between freshman versus sophomore versus junior, or there's a difference in between senior and freshman. So only two of these groups have to have different group means in order for you to accept the alternative hypothesis. So what are some assumptions that we need to consider when we're doing these type of statistical tests, right? We need to make sure that our sample is from a normally distributed population and that the samples that we take are independent of other samples. So for instance, the sample of freshmen that I'm taking is independent of the sample of seniors that I'm trying to take. There needs to be equal variance among the groups. And then the dependent variable should be a continuous in numeric variable. So when I talk about that one other factor here, this one other factor has to be a number and it has to be continuous, such as weight, height, blood pressure, BMI, et cetera. So those are some assumptions of the one-way ANOVA. And so just like any other hypothesis test or statistical test, it starts with a question. What question are you trying to answer? So in our examples on slide three, these are two examples of questions that I'm trying to answer. Is the final exam score, AKA a continuous numeric variable, different among the levels of student classification? And the levels that I have is at least three or more levels. So freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. Is the blood pressure different among my three age groups? So I have a variable in my data set called age group, and the different levels of that variable could be young, middle age, or older, right? Is the calorie intake different among my three 
subsets of patients, maybe patients on floor two, floor five, and floor eight. Okay, so it's always going to start with a question. So for our example, our question is, does a mother's education level, an education level is going to be denoted by 0, 1, 2, 3 in our data set, impact the number of prenatal visits? Okay, so in this case, we are comparing four groups, four different levels within one variable. We have education level zero, education level one, education level two, and education level three. Okay, so let's see how this actually looks as far as in SAS code is concerned. And you all have access to this data set. I highly recommend that you look at the first video on how to sign up for a free on demand for academics account so that you can practice the code while you're watching the video, but you definitely can code this on your own. Okay, so we're doing a PROC ANOVA. PROC ANOVA is going to take the data set name, it's going to take the class, the class is going to be the variable that's storing my different levels, my group variable, and then we're going to have this model statement where the numeric variable that we're interested in is on the left, and the categorical variable is on the right, okay, so the one factor in this case is visits, and then we're going to run this. So I'm going to actually code this along with you. So I'm going to go to my program and I'm in SAS Studio On Demand for Academics and I'm going to go down to libraries. You all have this libraries that you can expand. And when you expand my libraries and you expand SAS Help, you have all of these different data sets that you can play around with, okay? So no new data that you need to import. So in this case, I'm going to expand B-Weight and I see all of the different variables in B weight. So I'm gonna double click on it and I'm gonna explore it, okay? I see that there is a variable called married, boy, the age of the mom, if the mom smoked or not, weight gain and the mom education level. So mom education level, even though it's encoded as a number here, we know that we can treat that as different groups. That group zero, for instance, could be high school. Group one could be some college. Group two could be bachelor's degree and group three could be professional degree, okay? All right, so I'm always going to double click and look at my data set. I also can run that prop contents that we talked about where we can put in the data and get some information about that data set. So I'm just gonna call sashelp.bweight and then I'm just gonna run it to actually look at the contents of my data set. So we always wanna look at what we're dealing with. And I see that I just have 80 observations here and I see that all of my variables in their labels. So mom ed levels, mother's education level, mom smoke, it looks like it's going to be a numeric variable zero or one if the mother smokes or not. And then I have prenatal visits, yada, yada. So everything looks like it's numeric, but I know that I can treat some numeric as categories because they represent different things. Okay, so let's go ahead and run our PROC ANOVA, our one-way ANOVA. So we're gonna start with PROC ANOVA. As always, data, data equals the name of the data set, okay? And then I'm going to have that class variable. Remember, class is whatever the categorical variable is that has my three or more levels. So in this case, for B weight, it is, and if I can expand the right one, <laughs> for B weight is mom's education level. So you can definitely click on this and copy it. I'm just gonna type it in. So mom ed level is that variable that has our three or more groups. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a comment here. Variable with four groups of education level. So we can remember, and then we're going to have that model statement. So the numeric variable that I'm interested in is the prenatal visits. So that's going to go on the left. It's called visits in my data set. If I look on the left hand side, and that's going to be equal to what I have in the class statement, which is mom ed level. Okay, I then am going to run this. Highlight it, run it. 
and I get my output, okay? So I see here that I have a p-value, right? Because we, this is a hypothesis test. So we can use an alpha level of 0 0.05 if we so choose to. So let's just use that. Anything that is less than 0 0.05, we are going to reject the null. Anything that is greater than 0 0.05, we are going to fail to reject the null. So in this case, I see the different levels up here. It says it has four levels and I get a p-value. The p-value is less than 0 0.05. So I am going to reject the null. So let's see what that null is and actually remind ourselves, okay? So like I mentioned in this bottom table in our output, the p-value was less than 0 0.05, so we rejected the null. And what that means is there is a difference in at least two of the groups. So there's a difference in at least two of the mom education levels, right? Compared to the visits. So there could be a difference in group zero and one, one and four, four and two. We don't know where that difference exists just by doing a regular ANOVA, but we know that there is a difference, that the education level is going to get, give a different mean amount of prenatal visits. So that brings to our next question. What groups are actually different? And you can look at this and determine what groups have differences among each other by doing something we call the Tukey test. It's also called the Tukey Honest Significant Difference Test. And it tells you what groups are different from one another. So what groups have different prenatal visit means? Okay, it's going to compare all possible pairs of the means, and there is different Tukey tests out there. So for instance, a Tukey Kramer test is for groups that have unequal variances. So let's see how we'll actually code this. Okay, so this is going to give us and we're going to look at the code when we go into the actual SAS studio here, but the output of my Tukey test here is going to be where I have all of the different levels compared to one another. And it's gonna have this triple asterisk next to the groups that have a, a difference at a significance level of 0 0.05. So we're gonna go to SAS studio and we're gonna expand on this and we're gonna do where we have means here, okay? And so we're gonna have means and let's go ahead and do our Tukey. And let's run this. Oh, we have an error in our log. Oh, variable Tukey not found. We forgot to put the mom ed level here. No worries. Mom ed level slash Tukey. And since it's doing all of those different pairwise comparisons, it's going to take it a mi minute to run. So when I scroll all the way down, I have mom education level two versus one. It is significant difference between those means. A mom education level of three versus zero, there's a significant difference between those means. So it looks like all of the groups appear to be different from one another when compared to prenatal visits. Now, this is a data set with only 80 observations. I would not be comfortable making that conclusion. It also looks like it's a data set that is not representative of the general population. So with 80 observations, it looks like it could be heavily skewed for one demographic. So you definitely want to try to get more data. This is just for demonstration purposes on how you can run an actual one-way ANOVA. So in conclusion that I want you to realize is that one way ANOVA is this hypothesis test when I have three or more groups. So if I just have two groups like male or female, I'm going to use a t-test. Three or more groups, I'm gonna use this analysis of variance test called ANOVA. And a one way ANOVA is gonna look at one other factor, one other numeric factor like weight, height, BMI, calorie, blood pressure, systolic blood pressure, yada, yada, versus all these other groups. And the null is that there is no difference between these group means. And the alternative is at least two of the group means are different from one another, okay? So that could be freshman and senior, senior and sophomore. ANOVA by itself would not tell you what groups are different. It just tells you that a difference exists. 
you would have to run a Tukey test to figure out what groups are actually different from one another. And that is all that I have for you guys for this lesson on One Way ANOVA and SAS. Thank you so much. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you at the next lesson. Bye-bye.